Hello and welcome to Heartcraft Paper. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make the quilt rose. What you're going to need is a 3D flower cutout, two shades of dyed ink, both light and dark, one quilling tool, one boning tool, two daubers or blushers, a glue gun, and a pair of scissors. Let's get started in Design Space. Start by creating a new project. In Insert an Image, we are going to search out 3D flowers for this project for the quilled pink rose. Uh, there is the red option um, that depends on your liking. You can test with either or. So let's select the pink one and insert image. We are going to edit this to 5.25 in width so we have a larger uh, cutout to work with. I'm going to multiply that or duplicate it four times. Then I will insert a circle. I want to cut out for the base just because this one that's attached is a little bit too small. We're going to make this one one inch. Now we will just go in to sync and change the color for the circle to match and duplicate that four times. Once we're ready, just go ahead and click go, send to mat, and cut. Again, if you need to adjust these on your mat, you can do so easily. Now this next step is optional. You don't have to color your rows. You can leave it as is. So I'm going to take some of the pink, light pink dye and on the first couple of petals I want to go uh, pretty far down possibly to the bottom because that is the starting point of our rows, the center. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit to the top edges of the rest of the petals. Now we're going to take the darker ink and we're going to apply that to a dauber and we're just going to do the edges, just the top portion of your flower. Now I want to make sure that I get a little bit more further down with the dark ink on the uh, center here since as you know with the natural rose it has a darker center. Once this is completed we're going to take the boning tool and we are going to curl the rose petals kind of like you would a, a ribbon with a pair of scissors. Alright, now we're ready to quill. We're going to take our quilling tool and we're going to insert the paper uh, into the little slit that is a part of the tool that allows you to easily start your quilling and rotate the paper inwards towards you with the, um, of course, the inked side facing you as well. And you want to be careful. Um, if this doesn't go tight enough, at least for the center portion of the rose, you want to make it nice and tight. You can always uh, start again, kind of as I have to. Uh, I just want to make sure that it's nice and tight in the center. So let's go ahead and start again. And 
and you want to keep it even at the bottom. As you go, try and make sure that you round it. The paper will naturally bend kind of to square off. So you want to roll that paper a little bit as you go so that it's nice and round. And don't worry about how tight it's going to be because once you um, we complete this portion, it's going to loosen quite a bit. We're coming down to the end here and I just want to make sure that as I go along I'm trying to keep these nice and together and even. Um, now you're not going to use or glue down just yet the um, bottom tab. We are going to utilize it but as a part of the flower. So um, go ahead and slide this off the tool, get my base and then I'm going to Go ahead and gently release it. I still want to be able to keep a hold of it so it doesn't just fall apart on me. I want it to I want to allow it to gently release the roll. Um, help it along. Now you might think why did we um, roll the petals to begin with? It'll just make it easier for the next portion that uh, is uh, rolling with tweezers just to make it a little bit more bendable and you don't get those lines in your paper. So as you can see I'm just kind of releasing it a little bit and um, now we're about ready to glue and get this placed down on the base. So, uh, sorry that I'm off screen right now. I just want to make sure that it's nice and in center. So let's go ahead and um, make sure that fits in there and looks nicely. All right. Um, as you can see, I'm holding the center of the rose to make sure that it doesn't necessarily just fall apart on me, but I gently assist it to unroll. And that looks about right. So now I'm going to take the tab or the um, end portion of the roll and we're going to take the hot glue gun and add a little bit of hot glue just to hold that center portion in place and we will glue the outer portion or the remainder of the flower, the whole flower directly onto that larger base that we cut out Now you have the option of putting the glue directly on the flower if you like or you can actually put it on the base, uh, that's up to you. I find it to be a little bit more controlled this way. And then you want to make sure you gently push it down and adjust as needed to make sure that it's uh, nice and in place. You have your rose. I just want to make sure this is nice and pressed on there and clean up any of those little glue strings. Um, now take your scissors and you're going to cut the base out around the bottom just making sure you're careful of the leaves and then this way you have a nice base to be able to glue to your project. Once that's done, we're going to take the petals and we're going to want to roll them. Um, I find using the uh, tweezers are a little bit better and just kind of gently roll them back so that it looks like a natural flower.
the rose and we want to also gently but very lightly bend the inner um, petals as well just to make sure that we get that natural look not too many towards the center but um, because you know that natural tightness of the rose and as you go along if you want you want to be able to kind of use your fingers to kind of help roll that as well and set them in place and there you go you have uh, your rose.